You might recall in previous episodes that I attended the Cactus and Succulent Society of Australia plant show and sales event and I was there on both days. And hopefully by now you've seen both of the videos I produced. The first one was about the plant sale and what I brought home. There's quite a lot of them and to this day I'm still posting about them in my daily Echeveria posts. You might want to follow me on Instagram and check out the hashtag daily Echeveria just to see those entries. The second video was about the plant exhibit, the show itself, the competition plants. And it was about two hours worth of footage quite long. I have split it into multiple videos and you can check out this playlist if you want to have a look at it. So why am I telling you all of this? Well after the show it got me so inspired, so excited about society. This made me grab a leaflet from the front. I had to look around, read through some of the pages and I like what I saw and I immediately registered as a member. So the leaflet says right here it's the Cactus and Succulent Society of Australia. And on the cover, it features an Astrophyto myriostigma. And you know me, I'm not that familiar with cacti. But having gone through all of those two hours worth of footage, I think this might be an Onzuka. Is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. So as what you might have guessed, this episode is going to be me talking about the society and why I decided to join. So if you stick around, I'll give you my reasons. So again, this leaflet, this flyer was being distributed during the show and I had a little read on it, first impressions if you will, and I like what I saw. So let me just read some of the passages here and tell you a bit about it. First part here says more about us. Cactus and succulent societies are located Australia-wide in most capital cities and some country areas. Our society, established 1927, uh, meets monthly except for December, on the fourth Tuesday night at the Mount Waverley Community Center, 47 Miller Crescent, Mount Waverley, Victoria. So this is the address. We have a friendly atmosphere in which we enjoy and learn more about these plants. Visitors are, are welcome to attend three meetings prior to joining our membership. Doors open at 7 p.m. for an 8 p.m. start. So it appears that if you aren't a member, you're welcome to sit in the meetings you know if you're unsure about joining and you can only do it three times before you are required to join in my case this does not apply because i joined immediately and it also says right here if you want to view more and know more about their activities you could just visit their website it's cssaustralia.org.au the membership to the society is open to everyone who is interested, who is remotely interested in cactus and succulents. And they say that the members who join, a lot of the members who join are either interstate or live so far away from the meeting hall. And I think this is not an exaggeration because I've had a chat with some of the members online over Facebook. And they did mention that they are living outside of Melbourne, so quite far from the city. The drive from my home to the community center takes about an hour and I was thinking that that was already too long but apparently some members drive three hours just to get there it makes my commute pale in comparison and the next page conveniently lists the benefits as a member so basically it answers what's in it for me there are several points in here i think there's nine one two three four five six seven eight nine yes there's nine let's go through them one by one as a member you receive a society journal with fresh and topical articles and pictures of spectacular plants so this refers to the journals and newsletters they send every month and i got mine electronically over email because i signed up for the email version it's quite feature packed has lots of stories and it shows you a list of activities and some announcements i guess the second benefit here is monthly meetings of course except for december with guest speakers plant sales plant auction library access supper and raffles where there are also opportunities to get involved this might be the main attraction here because of course as a member you would need to attend the meetings but to make the meetings even more attractive they have plant sales and auction which might be interesting. I wonder what sort of plants are in there. The third benefit is visits to nurseries, gardens, and collections. Now you're talking. I'm definitely interested in this part because I like... It's been a while since I last made a garden tour. Not, not just my own garden, but tours of other gardens, other nurseries. 
I've only done I've only ever done two features so far one is from MLD succulents and another is from Roraima so this would be nice benefit number four conventions this might be interesting depending on the topic I guess so at least it's there number five competitions and prizes so it looks like apart from the the big one during spring uh, the annual spring show which I attended last month it seems like they're hinting that there are monthly or other periodic competitions running so this is interesting number six library we have the largest range of books on the subject available in Victoria this is really interesting because my channel Sariska Pades is mainly about sharing information sharing knowledge information dissemination so having a proper library to refer to would be really nice number seven now this one this is very valuable cultural advice and plant identification everyone needs this number eight and I thought the previous one was good listen to this discounts at major cactus and succulent nurseries uh -huh. <laughs> and of course number nine large annual spring show and sale where rare and interesting plants can always be found so this was the show that I shown you last month and they hold it every year the next page shows you how to be a member and it lists down the subscriptions there are a few types of subscriptions here the first one is where you only get an emailed version of the journal the second type is where you receive a, a hard copy a posted version of the journal and finally an associate membership I'm not sure what you get as an associate member maybe some of the benefits here are not applied to you so let's go through them one by one so you could either be a full member or an associate member and as a full member you have a choice of getting an email journal or a posted journal a hard copy if you chose to go with the emailed version the electronic version of the journal the cost for a full membership for a year would be twenty dollars and on concession that's if you're a pensioner or you're a junior or under 15 year old membership would be five dollars off 15 a year instead of 20 for full membership just add 20 dollars more so the full member would be 40 and concession would be 35 and associate membership is ten dollars that's for a year in my case I went with the full membership the emailed version so 20 but instead of paying the full 20 I only had to pay ten dollars and that's mainly because I joined in October last month and they renew membership March every year which means that my membership lasts five or six months anyway ha about half a year so they went half off <laughs> if you're interested in joining you might be able to find this form on their website it's cssaustralia.org.au and yeah so I mentioned the journal and interestingly the name of the journals there are two actually there's a larger multi-page version and a sort of a digest I think so the bigger version is called the spine and the smaller one the newsletter version I think that's I think that's the best way for me to describe it is called the spinet so it's the spine and spinet I got my copy of the newsletter and journal about three four days ago and when I opened it it showed me a calendar of activities a list of topics for 2018 to 2019 and what got me all excited was that this month's topic is all about Echeverias and the speaker is no less than Nolene Tomlinson I consider her to be the god the authority on everything Echeveria so I can't wait to get to the meeting I can't wait to meet her you know she's a real-life superhero for me I'm trying to play it cool trying to suppress it but deep inside I'm screaming like a fangirl <laughs> so yeah this is going to be exciting it's the day of the meeting and I'm heading off to the community center now the invite mentioned some form of identification looks like I got sent one today so just in time it's about an hour's drive to Mount Waverly the meeting place so I guess I'll have to focus on the road and turn off this camera I've just arrived the buildings right here and you might find it familiar because this was the same venue for the succulent show last month
had such a great experience at the meeting last night. The doors opened at 7 p.m. and as you enter the halls, you would see lots of sellers with plants on tables. So it appears that there were some pre-sales going on before the meeting. And I was also pleasantly surprised to meet some people who I've only ever interacted or chatted with online. And there were some of you who came up to me talking about my YouTube channel. And I'm so glad that you enjoy the content. I'm sorry that I can't remember everyone's names offhand. But I do see your names a lot online, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Some members brought in some Echeveras for the Plant of the Month competition. If I knew this beforehand, I might have brought something. But then again, it would be hard because it's just me all by myself. It's hard carrying them alone, you know? I should be joining this monthly competitions next time. So apart from the plant sales and once 8 p.m. hit, there was a bit of time devoted to updates and announcements so the, there was quite a few announcements shared by Wayne, the president of CSSA. And apart from that, there also was a plant auction. It was interesting to note that it was mostly cacti. I guess that was good and bad. Good because I didn't get to spend unnecessarily, but bad because I wish there were some nice Echeveras for auction, you know? I didn't come home empty-handed though because I brought home some plants. I bought a couple of Gymnocalisiums. I think they were both Mihano Vichii, but I... They looked a bit different, each one, so they might be different cultivars. Officially, I bought them for my mom-in-law because she's the cactus collector in the house. But deep down, and like I shared in the video about the show, I think if I was going to collect cactus, my favorite genus would be Gymnocalisium. And yeah, I brought home a couple of Gymnos. But I gave it to my mom-in-law, and I'm just going to watch it from afar. And finally, it was showtime. Nolene went up the stage. Well, there was no stage, but there was a podium. And she prepared this very nice presentation on Echeverias that are cultivated in Australia. She focused more on the species and not so much the hybrids. Although there are some cultivars mixed in. I learned quite a lot from the show. Even raised a few questions myself. I think the best part about the meeting and the talk on Echeverias was after the talk. Because I got to spend the next half an hour or I think it was almost an hour. Just chatting with Nolene and another friend. And we were just talking Echeverias the whole time. So I'm really glad that I finally got to meet and chat with my hero, Nolene. Thank you so much. If not for you, I would not be this inspired to read up and research on Echeverias. Because if you think I'm pedantic, then Nolene is easily a million times more. But in any case, if you're interested in this sort of plants, then I would recommend that you join the society. I think it's worth it, especially if the commute is not that bad for you. So the drive for me is about an hour. Some members even take three hours or more just to get to the hall. So I think it's not an excuse. If you really want to join, just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. Shout out to my wife. Thank you for allowing me to join. That's it for this long ramble. Thank you for listening to my story. And I'll be resuming my educational content in the next episode. So I'll see you then. Bye. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters such as Oscarino, Julie Seal, Snap Pui, Lorena Noti, Camila Reyes, Linda Leal, Gwen Ott, Jesse May, Q2, and everyone else who pledge on Patreon. Thank you so much. And finally, you can check out my Instagram, that's at SeriesCapades, and I post a photo of an Echeveria every single day under the hashtag DailyEcheveria.